I have a couple molds here from resin rockers and I dusted these with Let's Resin metallic powders. I use silver in the little screw areas right there and right there and right there. I used um, eye candy shadow gray for the barrels that barrel and that barrel and I used eye candy bokuto brown for the handle and for the bullet shells I used the metallic powder I used uh, bronze and copper so that is that mold and then I have these hummingbird molds and I thought I would make them um, try to look like a ruby throated hummingbird and so I used intense chameleon powders I used green I used blue I used uh, the dark cherry and the silver from the let's resin metallic powder uh, right behind the eye and down here by the tail but the wings the bottom of the wing I used the violet chameleon from let's resins uh, just the regular chameleon powder not the intense chameleon so I did that on both of these. I'm going to use black ink. I didn't do anything with the eyes. I'm thinking I'm going to use glass eyes after they are cured and then stick them on with some UV resin. But to get into the tiny crevices and stuff, I use these little makeup applicator things. I will definitely clean up my mold afterwards because you can see where the powder got outside. But I'm going to use... Um, um, one-to-one resin by uh, Naked Fusion again one-to-one -one resin by Naked Fusion and eye candy Kokuyo black this is a black paste and so I want those eyes to look black as well as the beaks I didn't get any color up there uh, but then um, the intense chameleons are gonna just come to life this uh, shadow gray and and bokuto brown will really get intensified with that black behind it I don't think anything's gonna change the color of those those are just so intensely metallic I don't think anything's gonna change that so yeah resin rockers here we go all poured in with black apparently I I tried blowing out the excess mica powder but apparently I did not succeed there but I'll have some bullets and some guns and possibly be able to put those in another resin piece, in a larger resin piece. Yep. I live in Texas, by the way. Mm-hmm. And these are... I have other um, hummingbird molds, but they're not this big. They're really little tiny ones, so these would be nice to have that extra pop of color on that size. So, yep. I'll be able to unload these in the morning and be able to put the video up. It's going to be a short video, but, you know, sometimes we need short. Well, these have all hardened up. So let's see how easily they pop out of here. Now, these guns, pistols, I have these pretty band-aids I cut my fingers those two fingers these guns are um, thick I'm thinking I'll have no problem here right with this This section here is going to be fun to get out. Oh, that came up. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, okay. look at that. Cool. Like I said, I knew that the, the black resin wouldn't have anything, wouldn't do much of anything with this, this, um, 
mica that I put in here because it's so opaque. These are the ones that I think are gonna look really cool. Yeah, almost looks like the real thing there. Now, I'm gonna have fun cleaning all this extra mica off this mold where I, oh, sorry about that, where I got crazy with it when I was coloring them in, but Steve McDonald, let me take that down, Steve McDonald talked about a product, and he says he's not sponsored by him in any way, these things work, big, wow, big wipes, and they smell like, um, some type of citrus fruit. They work really well. Sort of like a cross with an orange and, and something else. But it says they're multi scrub, multi clean wipes. I tell you. I may have missed a little bit with uh, when I was putting that mica in. Look at that. Just barely going over it. Clean as a whistle. Uh, I'm not being getting... Um, Steve is always saying, I'm not sponsored by him at all, but you need to give them... Now that's extra. Uh, resin I will just pop on there some some tape but other than that and they work at cleaning out inside the mold too okay so big wipes awesome stuff now I love Hummers when I was diagnosed with cancer and they I had surgery I, I couldn't do much of anything just sit around I mean I, I could walk but uh, since it was major surgery um, I, I sat around a lot and so I we have our <clears throat> uh, a back door Boy, it came out of there really nice. Oh yeah, look at that. And we have hummingbird feeders out there and the hummers would come see me. Well, I thought, I thought they were coming to see me. Of course they were. Um, and it made me feel really good when I was going through, uh, I don't know, it was just, it wasn't, I wasn't bummed out or anything. I was just, couldn't do much so I just sat there so it was kind of boring um but they they helped me pass my time in a positive way kept me keep positive that's that's what I was trying to come up with I felt as if they were messengers by God sent to cheer me up yeah, that's a nice mold. Okay, very detailed. Very shiny when they come out. I'm going to put some, some eyes on those, those um, hummers. And I'm going to clean up the edge of those molds as well. Be right back with some eyes. I have packets of these 
eyes, three, four, five, and six millimeter. I'm going to use four millimeters. You know what? That gun's going to shoot me. Get those bullets out the way. These are stuck on this card. Use these that have a they have a um some type of gummy stuff on the back of them. So I could actually just set it down and it would sort of stick on the on the um gross give me a big wipe there get the end of this cleaned off hey okay. big wipe even cleans that stuff off off the nozzle put a drop of just a drop of uv resin helps the little eye stay in place don't get it in your own eye. You'll have to get it replaced. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, that's a bad one. Mr. T, Mr. T. Okay. Let's see if I can pick this one. It sticks. It's on the silicone mat, so it slides off pretty easily. Now I got it to the edge. It's hanging over a bit. Oh, well, okay, it felt the correct way, so I can pick it up with that Q not Q tip toothpick. Oh, look at there. It fell right like it's supposed to. Yep, just like I wanted. And then... <laughs> that eye glows really funny. It is not a... Uh, glow-in-the-dark type eye. It's just... That glass... Glowing... And these are stuck on there. And instead of having just a little texture for the eye, we have bird with a put those in a place where they can pick up uh, that shine. near a window where the sun pops where the sun comes in or out in the kitchen would put a magnet on the back of it stick it on the fridge yeah but these you know they're if you have a plaque or something for um a shooting range or something of that sort these guns little pistols would be something cool for that S same with the bullets or if you have a a group of hunters, like a hunting lodge or something, and you want to have some decorations, that almost looks real. It doesn't when you look at the side, because it doesn't have the spot where the pin hits the bullet to, to fire, but... Yeah. Slick. Resin rockers outdid themselves with those molds. So, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to all of you who watch my... My videos, I really appreciate all the help you give me and the support you give me that way. So, thank you for watching. It's a short video today, but uh, just wanted to let you know that um, uh, Resin Rockers has some really good stuff. And if you look in the description of my video, there you can uh, go to Resin Rockers, and I have a discount code. 
So they have really cool molds. They have really nice um, um, UV lamps. The, the big one. Um, um, it, 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 it's huge. It goes up to 36 watts. You've got all kinds of different ways to program it and such. I ha do not have one yet. Uh, mine still work, and so there's no reason for me to buy something extra when I when I have my own that works. So, um, but if mine dry dies, I can guarantee you that's the one I'm going to get. Um, but they have good molds, good resin, UV resin. Um, yeah. So, if you need some components for your work in resin, check them out. Resin rockers.